guys it's B and welcome back to my channel if you're new around here I hope you enjoy and join the colony so as 2021 comes to an end I thought it would be a fun idea to share with you the makeup I got this year and whether I would rebuy it in 2022 just a disclaimer this is not new makeup to the market this is just new makeup to me and I'm going to try my very best to do a full face of new products let's get into it first product is the rose glow primer from revlon this product had a lot of hype online so i bought it and honestly i'm not a big fan i'd give it like a seven out of ten the product itself is really good like really good but the applicator doesn't work well like it's not like see nothing like i end up actually just dipping the stick in the product and putting the stick across my face but if uh, can you see the gold reflexes it's a really good primer like formula wise it's just the packaging is so stupid it just doesn't work for me I don't know if this is just like my one or if it's for everyone but nope next we have the wet and wild foundation this is amazing this is a great pine from 2021 it is lightweight and buildable and affordable so yes love this foundation definitely a rebuy in 2022 I would rate this foundation an 8 out of 10. For brows, I'll be using these benefit products. We have the Precise Pencil, the Gimme Brow, and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. I got these three as a trio, so I'm going to use it as a trio. I got it in shade 5, which is dark brown, but I have black hair, so the shade is actually a bit light for me. When I went to the shop, there was no black, so. I don't know if they even have a shade black, but I bought the darkest shade that they had. The brow pencil is very soft and very fine, which is great for adding in those individual hairs and just filling in like that. I love it. The back end of the brow is just spooly just so that you can buff out that product i would give this pencil a solid 9 out of 10. if they had my shade it would definitely be a 10 out of 10. next we have the give me brow gel and this is obviously in shade 5 again and i like to use this at the front of my brows just to define those hairs a bit more and at the tail give a 6 out of 10. This product, however, I feel is a bit overrated. Would I buy it again? Probably not because you can get the same thing at Essence or Switch Beauty for a fraction of the price. Lastly, we have the 24 hour brow setter. This is a clear brow setter which I use in the middle of my eyebrows because I have quite a lot of hair there. I don't want it to add any more definition. And this product is amazing. I would get this again. Is it worth the price? Maybe not. But amazing. Love this product. I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. So I did not buy any contour products this year. But I did buy this cream palette from Zars Cosmetics. And I'm going to use the brown in here that brown over there as a contour shade and we're going to see what happens never done this before could fail could come out really nice who knows so although we have a lot of colors i have used this palette for other looks and the pigment is a lot more sheen than other cream palettes i've used so that is something to consider so with a lot of beating, we finally got there. And it doesn't look bad. It's pretty nice. Out of 10, I would give 
the lost palette a seven and a half out of ten there is pigment but it's very sheer which work great for this contour look because you want the product to spread but if i was trying to paint my entire face pink i would end up using almost probably all the pigment um but yeah this is a great buy and i would buy it again next we have the instant anti-age concealer in shade light honey this may be a bit too light for me but it's concealer it's okay i know this has been around for a long time and everyone loves it i finally got my hands on it like last month and i love it too it is absolutely amazing would i rebuy it yes you just see how it brightened up that under eye area out of 10 this is a 10 this is an amazing product i love it yes next we have the bake it babe translucent powder now this packaging is adorable and you're getting so much of product but it's not practical this product did come with like a little tray so i could pour out the baking powder that i need to use but i've misplaced the tray so i'm just going to use a little of this and i took some out and, you know, i'm just going to pick it up and put it on so there we have it our under eyes are baked and you can see this looking a bit white but that's okay because we're going to clear that up but this is why i have mixed feelings about this product first of all the powder is very fine which is great it smells nice it's not strongly fragrant but it doesn't smell like chemicals which is also nice you're getting so much of product great but i can't put this back now like i mean i could but it's like a mission to try to pour it back into these holes you know so i'm like mm, okay it's a bit of a mess you know and like now i did it but it's not in the hole and it's practically not efficient but also if you use too much you are gonna have flashback like you can already see that this is going to flashback so out of 10 i would give this product a seven would i buy it again if they changed the packaging and maybe had it in a more user-friendly packaging maybe the next two products i have used before but i did buy these two this year and it's the only kind of powder i bought this year and that is the smudge powders available at clicks these are really nice um i have shade almond for my face and shade walnut for my contour and yeah these are just daily powders um nothing too fancy about them they're easy to find they're pigmented they smell fine i mean sometimes they do smell a bit chemically but overall they're decent am i obsessed with them no is it just basically what i need giving me what i need yes it's not blowing my mind in any way so I think I would give these out of 10 a 7. It does its job. It does its job well. What else do you really need it to do? Okay, next we have eyes. And today I'll be using Carnival 3 eyeshadow palette. I got this this year and it was a very big moment for me. So of course I have to talk about it. Now this palette color scheme is beautiful to look stunning shades stunning but overhyped i think so i was expecting beyond pigment like pure pigment but these are just like higher quality eyeshadows so a little bit overhyped but definitely love this palette i'm also going to test out how blendable these shades are together so i'm going to try to create a rainbow finish across my eyes okay so these are the shadows i have used i know it looks a bit crazy but the eyes aren't done yet and i used all from the carnival palette 
they blended out really well together and they are very pigmented um i mean it is a great palette i would give this an eight and a half out of ten the only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because with all the hype that i saw online i was expecting i don't even know what i was expecting but i was slightly disappointed when i got it so it can't be a 10 out of 10. next i have this eyeliner which is from catrice i've never used it you can see it's still in the box um we're going to give it a try and draw a very nice wing this is a tattoo liner waterproof liner with a very narrow tip so this is also a first review let's go okay so this is a very nice eyeliner when i first used it it bled a little bit as you can see like here and like the ink wasn't really flowing out very consistently but after i did this eye this eye came out really smooth and like really nice so this is a pretty good liner i'm gonna try to clean up this eye a little bit i'm just going to add some black liner to my waterline i didn't buy any new black liner so no review the patrice liquid liner i'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10 um yeah i suggest that if you do buy it you just play around a little bit so that the ink starts flowing nicely and you get a nice crisp line for lashes i'll be using the lash legend mascara from kiki beauty this is a very very nice mascara i love it it's very black um the packaging is very simple but as you can see the words have like scraped off and things like that which i don't mind but like i did only buy this like a month or two ago so mm, no like can you just like look at the difference oh my gosh it's amazing i have been loving this mascara i give this mascara a 9 out of 10. it's amazing it's so black it's like really lengthening and it's just so pretty um the reason why i give it a 9 out of 10 is because when you wash this off, you do get that whole mascara melting face thing that happens in movies. And also, the packaging, although like it's simple, I don't mind simple. Just like the writing, I would have lost, like, it last a bit longer. Mm. Next, we have highlighter. And I bought the Glowgasm palette from Switch Beauty this year, which is six beautiful highlighters and it's just stunning i am going to use prembule today can we like what okay this is a great palette it has amazing highlighters i do wish that there was a silver reflex highlighter or blue reflex highlighter but yeah because they're all very goldy um i would give this palette an eight out of ten it's really nice amazing so i will be using this colors limited velvet matte lipstick it is not a fancy lipstick it's from true words and i'm okay with not wearing fancy lipsticks every day and <sighs> these true words lipsticks are really great because the formula is pretty good and it's very affordable also if you're like me who works from home and is only on zoom meetings this is a great lipstick to use because it's just cost efficient you're not really going anywhere why would you want to use your mac lipstick you know so yeah i would rate these lipsticks a 7 out of 10 they don't last long they're very comfortable not drying formula is great does its job for like a good two three hours that's its job that's all you really need and last but not least lashes i bought this five pack of lashes from a china mall shop and i'm gonna pop a pair on and there you go this is the final look using some of the products that i bought 
this year. Do these, pro pro do these products work well together? I don't think so. I don't think this look is saying much. But we were judging products individually, so that is what matters. Overall, I am really happy with the products I got in 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and recommendations down below. It's never too late to join the Beehive, so hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.